Hello YouTubers, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well today. You know, I look at these articles that come out and one of them is talking about how Prince Harry is supposed to be giving the speech at the UN during Nelson Mandela Day. It's supposed to be next week and Megan is going to be with him. I just wish that this couple would become authentic. Then when you see stuff like this, you'd be like, oh, okay. You'd be like, okay, you support it all day long. But the problem always lies in who they are behind this painted picture that we see, the symbolic painted picture that they're trying to show us. They're trying to show us this beautiful painted picture and I'm looking at the picture and I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> I'm like, that picture is ugly. That picture, look, why you use those colors? Why it look like that? It's all, it, it don't even look right. And, and this is yet again, another example of a couple that is trying to perceive, have us perceive something that is just not going to go over well. And I don't understand why people give them opportunities. Like why is this ex-royal even invited to give this speech with his wife next to his side when they have shown the most disrespect to their own families? And that will always become an issue and it should become an issue because we should not tolerate people who publicly disown their families and speak back badly and poorly about their own families and then have to sit and listen to them give speeches that are reported on as being such a great thing and wonderful and yay you know they're doing such great things but the reality is is that personally they're not doing great things so why are we fed this ugly disgusting blob of nonsense that's going to spew from his mouth as it is authentic you're not even giving off information that should even be taken seriously because your perception of who you are as a person is not meeting what the reality is. And I have a problem with that. I have a problem with it. My One of my very dear good friends is Wandalyn Abernathy. She was the daughter of Ralph David Abernathy. And I had many times conversations with Wandalyn and her mother who were the warriors for the civil rights movement and the things that they had to go through to fight for the justices of civil rights for black people. Like the stories they told about their houses being bombed and the racism and just the level of backlash that they got when they were trying to do good, but yet they persevered. And what we have here is not at the extreme level of fighting for people's civil rights, but yet they are warriors, Megan and Harry are trying to be warriors to fight for people and the common good of the world with a fake facade that they're not trying to put up any struggle or discomfort to put up for anything that's going to give what they're saying legitimacy. There's no struggle behind anything that they're trying to fight for. They're like trying to fight in luxury. That would be like, People during the civil rights movement, you know, like they just put on their, 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 their fake looking like they black people and then go out there and try to fight to be helpful to get rights for the black people. But then when they come home, you know, they're not really black people at all. They're, they're white, uh, very wealthy people. They sit behind the walls of their mansion and they, they look at the injustices that they know that they're not suffering and they go out and speak about it as a way to be representatives of something that they are not themselves. So how is it that this couple can put up this fake facade of who they are as people and say that they are going to be a part of a struggle to help support things around whatever it is the wind blow blew in that day that they say they're going to be warriors for and we take that seriously like who are the people that are at the head of these united nations or who are giving them a platform the NAACP like why are they given a platform is it because they've had the PR agency that has the relationship kind of come in and fight on their behalf to be a be representatives because it's a money thing you should not be allowed to have access to these kinds of platforms because you have the money to pay a PR agency to get you this job to speak and to make the money doing so. however it works behind the scenes with the contracts I don't know but this right here is just an abomination in my opinion because it's not what it seems 
and they're going to go out there and fight as if they are these eco warriors fighting for injustices but yet at the same time they don't want to put up with no discomfort or pain we know when harry told us during the oprah winfrey interview that he was cut off financially and, and you know this is a like, almost 40 year old man talking about being cut off financially you know what your butt should have been cut off when you turned 18 how about that that's the reality for a lot of people and you're going to sit there and complain that you were cut off financially and all the money you have are the millions that your mama left you? Are you serious? You got the nerve to say that all you have are the millions your mom left you. You know what? You are so disconnected from reality. Somebody needs to be kicking you to the curb. We ain't coming up here speaking on our platform with that nonsense following you. No, I have a problem with that. His butt should not be allowed to go speak on behalf of nothing, especially when it has to do with Nelson Mandela Day. Everything that Nelson Mandela went through to fight for the rights of the black people in that country, the years in prison that he suffered, all the things that this man had to go through for his struggle. You want to put someone like the most privileged man out there and you want him to speak on your behalf, maybe because of who his mother was and his mother was as, as much privilege that she had. She didn't use that as something to get her by or over. She had real human characteristics that showed her empathy for people. Like she really had a caring heart about her that, that people saw. She didn't have to go pay a PR agency to help her look that way. She just was that way. And Harry is not that way. And he should not be representing symbolically anything that his mother has done. Because you know what? You may come from a good mother, but you certainly do not represent the work of your mother. And you should not be representing anything. I, I, I'm just so, I am so disgusted. I am so disgusted right now because you know when they go to this, his wife, his wife Megan, who is all about celebrity and all about treating her family like crap all about doing the things that she don't have to want to struggle through she went on Oprah to complain about the things that the royal family did to her so you know this is why she did that because she's like I'm appalled that the royal family treated me such a way Oprah let me tell you what the royal family did to me and this is national news these are national headlines like we're supposed to care and you are so privileged in your nonsense of complaining that it should be just like like we're not listening to your nonsense we're not listening to it because you are not at the level of the average person that you are trying to speak on behalf of and this my friends when he gives this speech I'm gonna just have to knock that speech all the way till Sunday until he starts to really talk about the fault the flaws in his own life and how he has had to struggle through something without complaining about it can you just do a little bit of struggling without actually complaining could you kind of just sit there and think wow you know what I have a lot of privilege already I should not even be complaining about this I got millions of dollars in the bank I should not be complaining about anything like you are in a position now where you don't even have the right to complain. Like your complaining is so off the charts stupid that it should be a sin. It should be a law against it. It should not even be allowed. So he's going to give this speech. I don't know what he's going to speak about, but he's going to try to blow some nonsense up our, our nostrils. He's going to try to do it. Now I'm going to be blowing that, that nonsense out all day because I don't want to hear it.